What's up everyone, I'm Hudson Yang, and welcome to my show, Taste Test, where I'm looking for the best food ever and how to make it. So, say you're in a hurry and you need something to hold you over. Or maybe it's really late at night and you're craving something, you just can't explain it. You need something and you need it now. We've all been there. So you head to your favorite fast meal restaurant for a grab and go, and then a few hours later, it hits you. That was so amazing. What makes it so good? Today I'm gonna find out. The special behind the scenes look at one of my favorite quick serve hotspots, Panda Express, the kings of Chinese American cuisine. I'm juiced to get a lesson on how they come up with the recipe and maybe even come up with a special dish for the menu on my own. Let's eat Panda style. Hey Jimmy. Hey Hudson. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. You too. Uh, thanks for having me here. Welcome to Panda. Thank you. So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna do a little bit of cooking and I wanna pick your brain a little bit. Okay, I'll do the same for you. Well, uh, before we get a head start, just wanna give you your proper attire for the day. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Well, Hustle, welcome to my kitchen. Cool, this is really awesome. Can you tell me just what ingredients are working over, or just over here? Yeah, so uh, today I figure I got you a little variety of everything. So we have some white button mushroom, red bell pepper, we have uh, string beans, some zucchini, a little bit of onions, scallions, so that we're gonna play around with the fresh bounties, right? And then uh, we also got some crispy chicken over here, we're gonna fry it up. And then uh, we're gonna taste a very, very traditional, but also very uh, Chinese American dish called Chen Ro So. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, okay. so let's talk about what we're gonna start with, okay? You wanna help, or should I uh, be grabbing my ingredient, or you wanna jump in and grab the ingredient? I'll jump in. All right, perfect. Okay. So imagine this is your shopping basket. It's my shopping basket. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna grab some ingredients, okay? I want you to grab a little handful of red, uh, white onions, red bell pepper, grab a little bit of that as well. Finally, we're gonna add some green to the color. We're gonna grab a little bit of string beans. String beans, okay. Count 20 seconds right now, and I want you to bring the basket and sit on top of that. Okay, so, 19. And one. All right, perfect. We're gonna get some chicken. So these are like marinated chicken breasts. We got it partially fried earlier. Now we gotta build the great flavor. So I have a question before we start. Where'd you learn how to cook? Well, um, I actually started my career uh, learning uh, French cuisine at a culinary school. One of the best part about my career so far is the fact that because I was born in Taiwan originally, uh, my foundation is Chinese, and, but my skill set is very much non-Chinese. So therefore, I was able to marry the two together and be able to create dishes like we're cooking today. Let's so, get to work. <laughs> let's get to work then, right? Hey. Yeah. Add in the chicken, all right? Every single dish that's made in Panda, every time they put it together, it takes only about 30 seconds. Whoa! So you can see, General Zell chicken, okay? Crispy chicken coated with a very savory, lightly spicy sauce fresh vegetables, which traditionally wasn't served with any vegetable at all. And then, so I want you to give a chance to taste it. You want to taste? Yeah, I, of course I Perfect. do. Perfect. Okay. All right. Without further ado, okay? Woo. Let's give it a shot. General Zoe's chicken. Mm -hmm. it's right? amazing. It's like salty, it's a little bit of sour, spicy on the tongue. Mm -hmm. So, now that you learned the General Zoe, you saw the process of walking, and then now uh, you also know how to fry something properly, and you knew how to blanch vegetable. You wanna do something on your own? Yes, I do. So I kinda need a little help on this, so I'm just gonna explain it a little bit. So, sure. Okay, I'm trying to make a sort of on the go, kind of Chinese burrito kind of thing. So what I want is to just kinda get a wrapper, and just cook, like, put all the meats and vegetables in it. Sure. Just have a, like a little sauce. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, for some reason I knew you were coming or something, you knew exactly what I was doing. I made some wrap. Awesome. So what kind of wrap is this? These are actually Chinese scallion pancake wrap. So we uh, took a traditional recipe. We flattened it as flat as possible. <laughs> and then uh, we made it into a wrap. So we'll set this aside while you go ahead and get started on your dish. Go, sir.
really good right now. I just really want to just pick that whole thing, wrap it up, and eat it right now. Woo! I'm gonna add in the wrap. I want you to seal it. Give it a quick slice. Ooh, Ooh look at that. That's Hassan Yang's uh, creation. This is that his perfect. Angus steak burrito with chow mein and also fried rice. Chow mein. Woo! Can I eat it? Please. Mmm. Like good. Yeah? You ready to uh, pass it along to the rest of the audience? Give them a chance to taste your food? Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching my video, and thank you, Jimmy, for letting me see this taste kitchen. Yeah, uh, thank you for coming here today, hang out with me. I think we had a great time. I think you learned really, really well, really, really quick. Thank you, Panda Express, for making this happen. Uh, check out PandaExpress.com to find out if there's a kitchen near you. Follow us online, subscribe for more episodes. Hey, don't eat my